So these last couple of years in public health, um, you know, it's been, it's been tough with COVID. We've seen sick patients that have COVID and we've kind of, my struggle is we've kind of backed away from some of our other bigger health concerns. You know, that's why I became a nurse. I didn't become a nurse to, to fix COVID. I became a nurse to help clients and help them overcome health challenges. My name is Matthew Adams. Um, I'm the coordinating nurse for our District 3 mobile unit. Um, I've been in public health now for three years. My background was hospice, um, and I started actually working here at the health department um, as a contract employee. Uh, just to help a couple of days of the week and really fell in love with what we do and what the health department stands for. So Payne County Health Department, we do a little bit of everything. I mean, we take care of sexual health and harm reduction services, childhood immunizations, uh, maternity, family planning, um, men's health, women's health, children's health. We provide a, just a vast array of services. Women, infants, and children, WIC is another big program that we have here, as well as Children's First, which is a program for first-time mothers. We have a nurse that that's what she does. She's your private nurse. Um, we have all those services. We install car seats. We do car seat checks. So we do a little bit of everything. So we're kind of running around all day, which is great. You know, when you're busy, you're serving these clients. It's just, it's just a wonderful feeling. For the mobile unit, for those of who don't have transportation, we come to you. You know, the biggest barrier we see with healthcare in Oklahoma is those, those physical barriers where there's just not a provider in that area. Um, so we essentially come to you. Out in your community, we're there. You know, you're gonna see us outside waving at you as you drive by or as you walk by. Um, just to try to invite people to come and just check it out. So these are pre-filled syringes for all your food shops. We, we're not a vaccination clinic. Yes, we do vaccines. We do childhood vaccines. We do COVID vaccines. We do COVID testing. But right now it's me, the registered nurse, our nurse practitioner, and a community health worker that's on that unit. So we provide primary care services on this unit. They're available. Our community health worker can help sign you up for the Medicaid expansion, get you signed up for Sooner Care. Those are all things that we provide uh, that oftentimes a physician office is not going to provide. You know, when you go to the physician's office, if you're not insured, you're not insured. They don't have a dedicated staff member to getting you the resources you need and pointing you in the right direction. So being able to see the impact that we make in this community every day. So with a lot of jobs, you don't always get to reap your awards immediately. Here at the health department, you kind of get some of that satisfaction just as soon as your interaction ends with that patient, that when they leave your office, you know you made a difference. The reason we become a nurse is to help people. And that's our responsibility is to find out what that client needs and to help them meet those needs. Um, and to be honest and open with our clients, be realistic, help them set realistic goals that we know they can reach and then be their cheerleader when they reach those goals. 